Hi everyone, I'm here today to show you Gabor Sheer Elegance in the color GL1014, which is also called Walnut. I purchased Sheer Elegance from a wig sister who had just worn her for a review. Uh, her name is Lisa and she has a YouTube channel called Brunette Wig Place. So it's a good opportunity for you to check out this cute little short cut on multiple people. Lisa is a bit more petite than I am. She has more of um, finer features. She has a thinner face than I do. So a good opportunity to see how this piece looks different on different women. Because I'll tell you, when I went online to quickly look this one up to see what the nape is, uh, the picture of the uh, model on the website this looks a lot longer on her, so she's clearly got a smaller head and a smaller face than I do. So let's just talk about sheer elegance. First of all, this color walnut is a really pretty light brown. I would say it's kind of a light brown, dark blonde. Um, kind of in that realm where it's kind of crossing over from blonde to brunette. really pretty i will take this clip out i just thought it looked really cute and so i just left it in want you to have a chance to see her all around she is quite short in the back so one of the first things i'll mention about sheer elegance is that the nape is only 1.75 inches. What that means is that if you have a low hairline, this is border, in my opinion, this is borderline uh, length where you might need to shave a little bit of your hairline so that it doesn't show through. So I, I actually do have a little bit of a low hairline and I think I am very borderline. Like where this one ends, I think I can get away with it, but my hairline is just right there. So keep that in mind. I'd say anything under a two inch nape, be aware of your hairline and how it lays on wigs less than two inches. Um, so just, just a tip for those of you who maybe aren't that familiar with short wigs. So sheer elegance. She is, first of all, I love Gabor wigs. I love Gabor fibers. They're so light and realistic looking and sheer elegance is no exception to that. It's just really light and feathery and really light on the head. Um, you know, this is one of those cute short styles that you're going to be able to do a lot with accessories, whether it's, it's clips like this or a headband of any sort. I mean, I just think there's quite a bit of possibility to change up the look on this one just by using accessories. So she is very, very um, layered. She has long front fringe. You can see, she's, she's down to my chin in the front. And then she gets really short. Look at the difference in these, these lengths right here. Very different. Uh, so if you're someone who doesn't really like super layered cuts or doesn't like like this asymmetrical look, definitely um, think twice about Sheer Elegance because she has that going on. One of the things that I really like though is it gives you some flexibility. So you can choose to wear her, you know, playing up this front here or she's very tuckable and if you just tuck those sides in, she just takes on a different look when you do that. It's a very polished look. I think this wig is a great one. Um, if you are comfortable playing around with wigs and you're comfortable using product even, I think you could take this from very, very kind of polished, professional, office uh, t look to you can really get her messed up and put product in and do some scrunching, put some cute accessories in, and suddenly you've got a sassy shortcut. That is one thing I think this is gonna be perfect for. Something to keep in mind about Sheer Elegance though is that she doesn't have any monofilament. She does have a lace front. It's a great lace front as Gabor wigs tend to be, but she has no monofilament. So what that means, first of all, is she has so much permatease up here just a ton. She's very full of permatease. This is a very 
full wig on top right here. There's, you know, not a whole lot of permatease on the sides or in the back really, but up here it's just a huge pillow of it. It does give you some styling options. I mean, you're going to get you're going to be able to mess her up, get some volume, put some product in and make her look really really fun and sassy. Um, but if you don't like permatease, you are going to struggle with this one. There's just no doubt about it. There's a lot of permatease on the top. It's going to be hard. You can flatten her, and I've been playing with her, and you can, you know, take some product, take a comb, and you can flatten her, but she still has a big poof of permatease up here. I'll show you that lace front when I put her back on, but since I've been messing her up, I'll just take her off and show you the inside of the cap. So we've got, like I said, we have a lace front. It's just a narrow lace front. It's kind of a typical lace front. Usually there'd be some monofilament there. This one doesn't have that. She does have the soft ear tabs that are adjustable. There is no extended nape on this, so keep that in mind with that shorter nape. And she does have Velcro adjusters, which I do actually have cinched in a fair amount. So I'm gonna talk about the size of this cap. Otherwise, it's just a basic cap and there's tons of permatease up here. It's quite pillowy. She's very, very light though, very light. While I got her off, let me show you this color if I can. I'll get outside so you can see walnut outside, but it's really just a, just a nice light brown, slightly highlighted. There are very slight highlights in her, um, but she's not, I wouldn't call her a heavily highlighted color, this color, a heavily highlighted color. It's just a very nice, kind of a neutral to warm, medium brown. It's not super ashy and it's not super warm. It's just sort of neutral to medium would be my take on that. I'm looking behind my camera here to try to, in my mirror, just to make sure that I'm straightening her out. So let's take a look at this lace front. Make sure I've got her where she needs to be. So Gabor lace fronts are fabulous. They're just phenomenal. I love them. And this one is no exception. It's so good. And any highlighting that this color does have is really concentrated up here. So you can very, very easily pull this one off the face in any kind of a style you want in a clip and a headband and that lace front is going to support that. Fabulous. Um, and so, like I said, there's tons of, I've just grabbed a clip and I'm trying to pinch it. There's just tons of stuff. I, I believe there's tons of styling flexibility with this one. Now let's just talk about how the cap fits. This cap is big head friendly for sure. Um, Gabor has, you know, they've got average caps. Then they also have average petite and average large. And I do think they have some just large as well. And I think I just saw that they released some new styles in large cap. This one says it's average, but I'll tell you guys, this cap feels really big on me. Um, I'm a 22 inch circumference, that's average. I often, it's hit or miss whether I even have to cinch in the caps on wigs. Sometimes I can wear wigs just as they come. This one is cinched in quite a bit. I actually think I could cinch it in even more. It's, I've cinched this in further than almost any other cap on any wig I own, including other Gabors, and it's still fitting me big. And then I have a lot of cap up here, and there is still a ton of stretch left in this cap. So I've got to believe that this is definitely big head friendly. If you are a petite though, you're gonna feel, uh, this cap's probably gonna be too big for you um, because I've already got it cinched in quite a bit. I mean, th there's more to go, but then with the rest of the cap feeling big on me, I think between the size of the cap and the amount of permatease in this wig, if you are true petite, this is gonna feel like a lot of hair to you and it's gonna probably be too big for you. If your head isn't petite, but you are petite and have very small face features, I would just keep in mind this has a lot of permatease. Permatease is a subjective issue. Everybody feels different about permatease. Even I feel different from wig to wig about permatease. There are some wigs. Um, I've got Ocean by Aesthetica, which has a lot of permatease. I love Ocean so much. I mean, I literally, she's a top, she's probably in a top two or three wig for me. I love Ocean. But then there are other wigs that I would consider to have a similar amount of permatease that I don't really like. So. 
even from wig to wig, you are going to vary in how permatease affects you. This is just really a personal journey. You're going to have to work that out. I would say don't always be afraid of permatease, but what I try to do is tell you when I think permatease might be a problem for someone based on what I hear all the time from wig sisters, based on my own experience. I, you know, I don't know for sure, but that's what I try to share. So this one, tons of permatease up here. I think what it does is it gives it a lot of flexible styling. I think it helps if you do need that boost on the top, definitely. I think the permatease is gonna help this style keep whatever you do with it, however you style it, that style's gonna hold probably all day. I have wigs that have very low permatease, and by the end of the day, they start to behave like human hair. It just doesn't look as good as it did at the beginning of the day. Permatease helps hold a style, and so your wig's gonna look good all day, and that's what this is gonna do. For summer, um, I think because she's so light and she's not heavy hair density, I don't know that that permatease is gonna make or break how hot she feels. Sometimes in the summer, a lot of permatease is like having a heavy hat on your head. The air has a harder time getting through all that permatease. I don't know that that's really gonna be an issue because on here, it's not heavy anywhere really, but right here, just really right on the top. Um, so that's my two cents on that. The coverage on this piece is really good on me. It comes really low down on my ears. You can see a little bit of my bio hair, which you always can. Um, so I would say the coverage on this piece is goes along with the fact that I think this is big head friendly. So on me, the coverage is really excellent. The final thing I wanna tell you about sheer elegance is the visible permatease. So one of the things I did notice, because she's so heavy on the permatease, there is some visible permatease just right here on the top. I don't know if you can really see it right now, and the reason is because I've really played with her. So, so basic cap wigs can she's not basic cap but she's this part's basic um can often show permatease because they need the permatease to attach the hair to the cap and so that can be a challenge with basic cap wigs and i've talked about this in other videos there's lots of things you can do to disguise that but i would say just keep that in mind she kind of needs to be messed up so to get into the permatease, get your fingers in there, get your wide tooth comb in there, and you gotta kinda pick the fibers up off that permatease. That's kinda rule one with a basic cap wig where you can see permatease. The goal is to lift those fibers up because that will hide that permatease. And then the other thing that I do a lot is I will mess up the part so that it's really not, as you can see, it's a very messy part now. The more you kind of crisscross the hair, lift it up, scrunch it up, the less you're going to see that permatease. But the trade-off there is now I've got bigger hair. And if you don't want big hair, you know, that's kind of the way it goes. So anyway, this is getting long enough. I just wanted to talk to you guys about this one because I know some of my sisters love short wigs and summer's coming and you might be looking for a style that's really good when it's hot out or for running around working in the garden. I would say this one is, is going to be good because it's so short, you're not going to get a lot of friction and rubbing. It's probably going to last a long time. And I love those Gabor fibers, like I've said. So that's been sheer elegance. Let me know if you have any questions about this piece. I'll get outside so you can see the color walnut outside. And that's it. Thanks for watching, you guys. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. And I'll talk to you soon. Hey everyone, here's Walnut outside. Sorry about the banging. My husband is behind that window. You can kind of see it. Remodeling our bathroom. <laughs> He's tearing stuff out of there. This color is beautiful. I love this, I really do love this color. It's just a great light brown. I mean, honestly, I think you might be able to say it's a dark dark blonde but it seems more like a light brown to me move around for you guys get a little sun it's a beautiful day out here we're just heading into spring now snow is almost melted okay let me get in front of the gray Trying to make sure the glare isn't too bad. I'm 
trying to learn to be patient and not move so much. As you can see, it's not rooted. I don't think it's rooted. All right, I hope that was helpful. I hope it gave you a good look at this really, really pretty, pretty color. In case you're on the fence and you're not sure, my brunettes, this is a really light brown. It may be too light for some of you. Unless, of course, you've started working your way here with highlights. All right, have a good day, you guys.